In today's video, we're checking out the Shiny Teeth Lucky Box. We have, of course, the they're quite a cool KSP the Shiny Teeth skin and a couple, couple of other nice, nice little get picks. If you do go to enjoy the video, make sure to, of course, like and subscribe. And if you do want my KSP like that, as that's, as the, is the gum I'm using in today's video, then make sure to, of course, stay tuned to end for that. And let's get into the video. Today's day shout goes to an, uh, one, of the, one of the people who to give that, and one of the you might recognise, it's Blasco again. Uh, of course, they do, he does mainly multiplayer like, related content, and we have one we run in the past. So uh, yeah, definitely, definitely one, definitely one you will do want to check out. Uh, his content is actually very good. I do like enjoy it. Uh, of course, he's on, he's on the road to 500 subscribers, so let's help him get there. Uh, but yeah, make sure to go over, uh, be supportive, and be positive, and make sure to uh, like like the videos you enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the channel in general. Uh, of course, he'll be links down below in the description and up on the screen here. Make sure to go over, be supportive uh, with any supportive comments on how he's doing correctly and 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 positive, any positive comments on how he can improve his content. And uh, yeah, now let's get into. To the uh, the the new lucky box. Okay, so we are in the train mode. As you can see, uh, the first thing I'm going to check out is the wrench, of course. And uh, this is quite a nice one. As you can see, it's got more. It's a kind of motorcycle. It's cool, but it's got like kind of clouds on it, and it's more of a, uh, a pinky blue kind of uh, theme to it. Uh, that's a short. That's a short inspect. Let's quickly inspect that again. Yeah, quite a nice one, I would say. Um, I've definitely got better wrench skins. Um, I think the wrench actually, actually, to be fair, I haven't got really much really colourful wrench skins so, because the wrench is more of a. Uh, I've got that. I've got that. Zomb that one from the zombie from the, from the zombies creators. Um, that's about the only wrench I have. Uh, so actually, this is quite a nice one. It's going to get uh, six point five out of ten. Um, there's probably def def definitely better ones that could be had. Uh, but no, seven out of ten. It's def definitely a nice one, but definitely better weapon weapon skins. And of course, I don't really use the wrench much. I don't think it's too good. And uh, not too much of a popular popular choice for a melee if you are going to use one. And uh, yeah, now here is the KSP. Now this this gun has actually felt quite nice. But in terms of the skin, it's a bit of a bit of an interesting one. And um, of course, it's meant to be more like it's meant to. I think it's meant to be like an almost surfing related, um, with like a kind of like a cool shark on the side. Um, not too much going for actually. Not too much um, geometry changes. Not too much. Um, not too much um, animation. So it's actually going to be about five out of ten. Probably not worth getting this one. Uh, there's there's a breaks, there's some cooler ones that you probably get. Uh, but in terms of the KSP, it's a very good ag aggressive weapon that works quite well for me. Um, unfortunately, I had a bit of an unlucky uh, teammate. Uh, so has some quite some that bad tears in some of my games. Uh, so we're just not going to see them. Um, but of course, they um, are the two out of the three games today are losses. And uh, the games actually were uh, quite decent. I got uh, two thirty bombs and a, th and a forty bomb in this in this in this video. So yeah, definitely definitely one. This is definitely one worth checking out if you are quite more of an aggressive player. And it even can quite do quite well in the uh, in the, in the um, medium range. You kind of don't want to hit more, any more, try and let any more than two bursts in. Uh, one burst is obviously preferable, which is why it's best aggressive. As you can see, as you can see, it will count one burst. Uh, but yeah, the hit fire I don't think is too bad on this thing. Let's have a look. As you see, the hit fire is not too bad on this thing. Yeah, def definitely, definitely one of one of the best hit files I've seen, and uh, one of the more consistent at least. Let's quickly go and verify that. Of course, this is all with the build I'm using during the video, so any any changes to the build, this will change, of course. As you can see, actually, it's quite sped up. Um, 
actually it's a bit more spread out than I thought it would be. Um, but still quite a decent one. It felt, it felt pretty decent in the actual game. And then here is of course the recoil. It's quite a low recoil of course due, due to the um, fact it is a... Now you can see. It goes off the side a little bit but other than that it, because it is a burst weapon it is very very easy, easy to control. Um, it does reset quite well after each burst. That's another thing with burst weapon is um, you do have to be quite accurate with it because of course if you do miss at least one in your burst or two then you do have to rely on the next burst to um, to, to uh, get them out. Of course this is um, so which makes it a slightly more high skill gap weapon. Uh, yeah definitely one that I think that's quite fun if you do have good accuracy um, and can can kind of somewhat do alright and two, can do two bursts that are close a medium range but that cause probably long um, close range one burst and yeah, yeah like I said high skill gap weapon so this is actually one that a lot of burst weapons are ones you could use if you want to try and improve your, your gun skill and your accuracy because of course you have to, do, um, you have to be quite accurate to, to well with them so yeah definitely one that I would uh, I would uh, recommend checking out if you do want to try and improve your gun skill there Especially one that's just, 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 just especially one that uh, just has low recoil as well. And of course, the chicken isn't great, and the, M the M16, the swordfish is one that I would maybe will, might recommend checking out if you want to improve your gun skill as well. But yeah, if you want to improve your uh, like close range gun skill, then the KSP is definitely one that I'd recommend checking out. Of course, another factor of this, which is not, another factor I don't particularly enjoy, is, is it has bullet speed. Uh, although it's, I don't think the bullet speed is too bad on this one, uh, I don't really feel it too much. Uh, but still, it is uh, quite an annoying one to deal with uh, when it does uh, when it does affect it. It only really affects at the medium range, so not not particularly at the close range, of course. So yeah, now let's check out, of course, the damage. Thirty-two to the legs. So you have to hit at least one one body. Uh, at least two body shots or one headshot to make it a uh, to make it a, a, a guaranteed bomb burst, uh, which isn't quite too hard. I've out up at the close range. Um, it, the arms are included in the body shot as well. So yeah, it's definitely not too difficult to get a one burst if you try. Out here, it drops down, so it's a guaranteed. Okay, so just force to the head, twenty-five. 32 I saw there and 23 so it's guaranteed um, guaranteed four shots as long as you like so it's with the same uh, dagger fly so it's not so you can't really one burst without that consistently one burst without out of that range uh, but you can definitely uh, consistently two burst with it so yeah definitely definitely de definitely it's still de definitely viable out of that range and then of course in the full community you don't particularly want to use it but it's still high twenty, um, high teens, low twenties, which is pretty decent for an SMG actually. I say it's not too bad damage out of that range, but definitely one you want to keep within like kind of the uh, the twenty, the close to medium range, about oh, about twenty meters, um, maybe twenty five if you're lucky. Uh, but yeah, of course this gun all also depends on the preference of, of gun. I actually enjoy the gun's going to get, but I. Uh, a seven out of ten. Oh, no, no, a six point five because it, it was a. Uh, of course, you have to be quite accurate, and it's hard, quite hard to use uh, if you are like not so accurate. So yeah, but definitely a very fun one to use. Now let's get into, of course, the ranked gameplay.
Target's up to you. It's ready to be spotted. Enemy down! Oh, enemy coming. Enemy down! Tango down! Captured A. You ain't inside. You ain't fighting. Bravo. Nice here is my KSP loadout. As you can see, it's an accuracy range boost to this, this one. Uh, of course, it, be, it being an SMG, those are two main downsides, especially the accuracy, as it's a burst weapon, it's very important for those medium range gun fights. So, yeah, we have the agency suppressor for the science ability, and mine is 10% vertical recoil. We have the 10.5 top source barrel for the plus 50. Team damage at range and plus 80 bullet speed, 80% that is. And, and we have the emphasis laser for the minus 20% ADS bullet spread. We have the um, S S FOD fast foregrip for the minus 15% horizontal recoil and plus 10 sprint speed. And then we have the 45 round extended, uh, 42 round extended mag for plus 12 mag capacity.